So another thing you need to ask yourself when you're deciding what to grow is how much can I functionally grow? Are you growing in your kitchen window? Are you growing in a greenhouse? How are you going to provide the light, the water, the heat, the moisture that these plants are going to need? And how much can you grow? Now I know because I've done this for many years that if I just use my small greenhouse, I can grow between a thousand and fifteen hundred plants. If I put up a second greenhouse, I can grow up to six thousand plants. I have grown as much as six thousand in the past when I ran a market food um, in our local farmers market on a weekly basis. At that point, I also did shows in St. Louis. I did planting fests in South Missouri. I did Earth Days and I had two teams running. And I knew that I could functionally grow that many plants in that space. Now I've scaled down, and for this year, we're only using one greenhouse. So I have a limit that I can grow somewhere in the range of about 1,000 plants to 1,500 plants happily, and keep them in that greenhouse and still make it all function. Now the greenhouse is one that I put together. Actually, I had my neighbor do it, but it's a nine by 12 greenhouse made out of reclaimed windows and doors. And I heat it with heaters and I have a air conditioning system that will, well, it's not air conditioning, it's more of a handling system that will flow the air out of the greenhouse when it gets too hot. So I have that set up. I know my limits. I know I can grow about that much successfully in the one greenhouse. So when I make my lists of what I'm gonna grow, I have to consider how many types of tomatoes, how many types of peppers, how many types of herbs, if I'm gonna grow any other vegetables like eggplants or things like that. And then really, how many of each can I grow in that space? So I will consider the total number of tomatoes, the total number of peppers and the types of herbs that I'll grow based on the space and based on the demand that I think people will have for those plants that I want to sell. So always have to consider space before you start growing to make sure you're going to have a space for all these plants.